While chocolate-covered cherries make for a great snack, here's a chocolate treat known as an after-dinner refreshment, Andy's Mints. They're chocolatey on the outside, but hiding in that middle is the fresh mint taste. And now, the secrets are revealed. For the first time on television, see how these chocolatey treats are put together. Ooh. This green glossy wrapper gives a clue to what's inside. A refreshing little mint covered in creamy chocolate. Some people have told us that dinner isn't complete until they've had their Andes mint after dinner. Andes started out in 1951 as the signature candy of a shop by the same name. And every package bears a picture of the original namesake. The Andes candies were named after the Andes Mountain in South America. Andes are famous for their three creamy layers, but until now, how they're made has remained a trade secret. For the first time ever on TV, we're gonna go inside the Andes factory to see how these precise minty sandwiches are created. Everyone who enters the plant must first be sanitized in an amazing hand-free washer. We are then free to check out how up to 10 miles of mints are made every day in this highly automated candy making process. First, massive quantities of cocoa, milk powder and sugar are mixed. So much sugar is used here that it's stored in 100,000 pound silos. The blend goes through several sets of refiners where it's ground to create an extremely smooth mix. Workers pull samples to ensure the cocoa is as fine as can be. In fact, the particles become so small, they are measured in microns. Next, the mixture is blended with oils, stirred, and heated in a giant 12,000 pound vat. After five hours of conching, the chocolate is finally smooth enough to become an Andes. As it's pumped into holding tanks, real mint flavor is injected into the mix. Most people would expect the mint only to be in the green. However, the flavor is throughout the Andes piece. In all actuality, we do have a little bit of secret about that. that there's a little bit more mint in the dark than there is in the green. To form the unmistakable Andes layers, chocolate is pumped into rectangular molds. Each one of these trays holds more than 200 candies. The trays are shaken to remove any air bubbles and chilled before the green layer is poured on top. After another shake and chill, the final chocolate layer is added. It then passes into a cooler where it's held for approximately 25 minutes. Uh, the product then is turned upside down in the mold, tapped on the back, and then is demolded onto a belt. Andes are made in five flavors, from orange to cherry, but creme de menthe is the unquestionable favorite. The product is basically designed and developed so that it can have a good mint uh, burst, uh, but not too strong and not too light. 